Welcome back everyone to complete GSA placement series with C++. After doing the parenthesis matching problem, today in this lecture, we will do a question on converting in fix operation to post fix operation. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin with our lecture right away. Before reading the question, let us first understand what are infix, prefix and postfix expressions. Actually, they are representation of a mathematical expression. So, if I have something like this 2 plus 3, then this is, this is the infix expression. They, the, the expression, mathematical expression is expressed in the form of infix expression okay so what is now infix expression whenever the operator is in between whenever the operator is in between the operands it is known as infix it is known as infix expression now coming to postfix and prefix expression so as the name suggests the postfix expression will be something like this Whenever the operation, the, the operator comes after the operands and this will be the prefix expression. Plus 2, 3 as per the name. Over here, the operator will come before the operands. Moving further, what if there is a complex mathematical expression with uh, several operators? Something like this. A plus B into c a plus b into c so over here over here uh, every time whenever we do a mathematical operation then the precedence of multiplication is greater than the precedence of plus right so if i convert this into post fix then first of all it will be b c multiply and then it will be a and the result of them plus so, it will be something like this A, B, C, multiply and plus. Because over here, over here, first of all, we will do the multiplication. Okay, we will do this operation, this particular operation. And with the result of this, let's say we have its result as Y. With this result, we will add it. We will perform addition with A. So, this is how we write our operations. We write our complex mathematical operations. Now, what if it was something like this? What if it was A plus B into C? What, is, what if it was like this? Then, the precedence of this operation has been increased. Why? Because we had a parenthesis bracket over here. Right. So, if we have a parenthesis bracket over here, first of all, we'll perform the whole addition operation that is A, B plus, right? A, B plus and then the result will be multiplied by C. So, C into. So, this is the correct postfix expression of this. You see, we don't need bracket in postfix expression because we have everything in order. First of all, we check the operands. As soon as we get an operator, we just perform an operation with the last two operands. So, this is how it is done and we will, we will assume that all the operators are left to right associative. That is the perform. Whenever the operation is performed, the operation is performed from left side to right side. And thus, this is the postfix expression. Now, talking about prefix expression. Then, uh, if I do a prefix expression of this, I will get plus AB. Okay, plus AB for this particular operation. And then I will get a C. Okay, I will get a C. And I will get a multiplication sign over right over here. So, this is how it would work and whenever we have a higher precedence, then we will give it a priority. Now, what is the precedence? Over here, uh, the division, the precedence of division and multiplication 
division and multiplication is greater than the precedence of plus and minus okay and we have precedence of our exponential operator that is this which is greater than this so I, i'll just select the whole thing over here and i will move it over here and let me just do a greater sign right over here. so this is the precedence of all the operators now let us move to the question and see what does it ask so we are over here into our gfg platform and we are over here we are given an infix expression in the form of string str we need to convert this infix expression to postfix expression in infix expression the form it is of form a operator b okay infix operation this is the definition of infix operation this is the definition of postfix operation now they have given us the order of precedence that is the exponential sign is greater than the multiplication multiplication is equal to the division and division is greater than plus plus is equal to minus now we need to ignore the right associativity of the power operator so we need to ignore uh, this operator's right associativity that is uh, generally it moves from right to left it performs the operation from right to left that is in reverse order but we need to ignore that we need to assume that it performs its operation from left to right so this is our uh, question we are give also given with an example right over here let me just copy this example and we will solve it on our board so first of all we'll solve it manually and as we are in our stack so we have got to know we have just got to know that it should be done using stacks right so yes we have got our hint let me just i have copied it i will uh, i will just increase its size to something say 20 i will have its color as this and let me just have its color as white so that it is more readable and this this is the expression okay we have this particular expression let us now let us now uh, see what does it say like let us try to convert it into postfix okay so whenever whenever we want to convert it into the postfix expression let us suppose we have a plus b plus c okay a plus b plus c or a plus b into c this will be equal to this will be equal to b c into and then a uh, result and plus this will be equal to this particular thing right over here so what are we doing let us let us move from left to right let us move from left to right and see what we are doing so over here first a comes so uh, we we put it uh, put our a into the postfix string then we have a plus operator so we are storing our plus operator somewhere whenever uh, the next character comes we will just push it into our uh, we'll just push it into our string okay now we have a multiplication character so what we are doing we are storing it somewhere we are storing it over here then we have a character that is c so we are just uh, uh, writing our c now what do we have is we have a multiplication character over here and a plus character over here so now what we need to do is we need to move this character the last added added character over here did you see something did you observe something the last added character so we can use stack over here right so what we will do to store it we will use a stack 
and we will just pop this off we, we will just pop this character off and we will use it over here then we will use an addition sign so this is how it would work but but what if what if the example was something like this the example was a into b plus c over here we need to perform this operation first so it will be a b into and then it will be c plus right so now how to perform it let let us move from left to right so whenever we move from left to right first comes this a then inside our stack we have a multiplication operator then comes this b now what do we have we have a plus sign so if we add our plus sign into into our stack then what would happen is the plus sign would be popped off first so first operation will be of addition but we don't we want our first operation to be of multiplication right we want a higher precedence operation and thus thus we cannot add an operator of higher or equal precedence into our stack right we cannot add into uh, our sorry a lower precedence lower a precedence lower than the topmost operators precedence so topmost operators precedence over here is greater then the precedence of operator that is to be added so first of all what we need to do we need to utilize this we need to utilize this we need to uh, add it to the string pop it off from the stack and then add our next operator that is addition now we will move to c and at last as we have nothing left inside our main string we will move to stack and add all the operators in sequence so this is how we would perform an operation whenever whenever there is a higher precedence operation before okay so we have done this now what if we have a bracket over here so what if we have a plus b into c over here first of all a b should be performed and then it should be the result should be multiplied with c so whenever whenever we have a uh, an empty uh, we have an open bracket we will add that to our stack so we will add our open bracket to the stack okay so now let us move further so we will add a to the string again as it's an operator so we will add plus to the stack we will add b to the string now we have encountered a closing bracket so as we have encountered a closing bracket we need to add all the operators from the stack to the string until we don't encounter an opening bracket it's counter opening bracket so we will just pop this off we will pop off this plus sign and we will add it over here and you see that we have uh, encountered our opening bracket and as we have encountered our opening bracket we will stop our loop and pop it off later on so this is how we would perform operation if we have a parenthesis so yes this is uh, this is the main algorithm let us let us do it into this bigger string so over here we will build a stack this is our stack and we will have an answer string first of all we have a so a will be added to string we have a plus sign which will be added to the stack then we have b that will be added to the string again we have a multiplication sign added to the stack then we have an opening bracket that we will add it to the stack we have uh, we have c next we have this bracket okay this operator now as opening bracket as precedence of op opening bracket is minimum over here remember that precedence of operating bracket uh, opening bracket sorry opening bracket is minimum we can uh, mark it as zero or negative 
right so as it is minimum we can put any operator over the opening bracket okay then we have uh, d after d we have a minus sign so before the minus sign gets pushed into uh, the stack we need to pop off all the operators of higher precedence right so we will just pop off this exponential operator and we will push our minus sign okay moving on we have e okay we have e and then we have a closing bracket so until we encounter an opening bracket we will keep on pop keep popping off the operators from the stack and adding it to the string so we will pop off this minus sign we will add it to stack and now as we have encountered our opening bracket we will stop our loop and at last we will also remove our opening bracket so yes this is what we are going to do now we have an exponential sign so as it is of higher precedence we will add it to the stack okay moving further moving further we have an opening bracket so we will add it to the stack now we have uh, we have f so we will add our f to the stack to the string actually and then we have a plus sign so we will add this plus sign over here we have a multiplication sign so we'll add our multiplication sign over here and g and h will be right over now until the stack gets empty and so or until we get an opening bracket we need to pop off the element and keep them adding into our string so this is what we are adding it to the string let me just uh, move this stack to the right so let me move it over here okay i hope it's visible yes it is and then i will pop off this plus sign so let me just pop it off and add it over here we have a closing bracket now i mean the opening bracket so yes we will stop our loop and we will pop off this opening bracket so let me just pop the opening bracket okay so yes we have f g h and star and then we have a plus sign after this we have a minus sign so as we have this minus sign we we need to keep it to the stack but before we add it to the stack we need to look we need to check if there is an operator of higher precedence and yes we have operators of higher precedence higher or same precedence so we need to add it to the stack so over here first we will add this exponential operator then we would add this multiplication sign and then a plus operator so a multiplication sign and a plus operator again then we will add this uh, minus sign then we will add this i after uh, i after reaching the end of the of the string we will end our loop we will end our for loop but still we have something in our stack so we will pop off the remaining operators and add it to the string so we will add the remaining operators to the string let us let us pop it off and as the stack is empty we have got our valid postfix expression so this is the answer for our prefix sorry infix expression now let us let us move and uh, move to the pseudo code so first of all we need to declare a stack let us say the stack of character and let us name it as st we need to have an answer string which is empty and we need to run a loop so for i equal to 0 to i equal to n okay la i less than n we need to run the loop now first of all we will extract the characters so character c is equal to s i s is the string given to us the infix string now first we will check if 
uh, A is an alphanumeric character. Okay, sorry, C is alphanumeric character. So, how to check it? First, uh, we will check if it belongs to small a to z. So, over here, if C is greater than or equal to A or, sorry, and C is less than or equal to Z. If C is between small a and Z, both inclusive, then yes, it is, uh, it is a lowercase alphabet. If it is between big A to Z, then it is an uppercase alphabet. So, C, if C is greater than or equal to, let me just rub this off. And if C is greater than or equal to bigger A and C is equal to, C is less than or equal to, less than or equal to the capital Z, pardon me for my writing. Or if C is a digit, so if C is greater than or equal to 0 and C is less than or equal to 9. Then what we need to do? Then we need to we need to push it to our answer. So answer dot push back. I am writing PB for push back answer dot PB C. Okay, so if C is not an alphanumeric character, so else if, else if C is not an alphanumeric character, but C is an opening bracket. If C is an opening bracket, then we need to push it to the stack. So, stack dot push C. Okay. If uh, no such case, else if, then C will match C with the closing bracket. If C is a closing bracket, if C is a closing bracket, then we need to run a while loop. Okay. We need to run a while loop while the stack is not empty. While stack is not empty and we don't have uh, our topmost element in the stack as an opening bracket, we need to run till that point. So, we will just push it to our answer. So, answer dot push back st dot top and then we will pop off the element from the stack. Okay, done. Now let us pop off the remaining parentheses from the stack. So, st dot pop. Okay, so uh, this is the condition when, when c is a closing bracket. So, now we are left with only one condition that is if c is not an opening bracket, not a, not a closing bracket, not even an alphanumeric character, then c must be an operator. So, we need to run a while loop over here also until stack is not empty. Until stack is not empty. And we have a method. Okay, we have this as a method. So, let me just rub this off. And yes, until the stack is not empty. And uh, st, the precedence, I am just writing as pre, pre of st dot top st dot top is greater than or equal to is if the precedence of topmost element inside the stack is greater than or equal to the precedence of c until that point of time we need to pop off the element and push it into our answer string so answer dot push back st dot top and st dot pop st dot pop after the while loop ends we can just push our c into our stack so st dot push c what if we don't have any we have the operators of lower precedence then the while loop would not run right it would not run and thus, we will be able to push the C, character C, into our stack directly. So, yes, this is our loop. This is what we are now going to do inside our for loop. Whenever our for loop ends, we will just 
add all the remaining operators into our answer array. So while not st dot empty, while our stack is not empty, we will add our characters of st to our answer string and we will pop them off. So this is our while loop and at last we will return answer. So this is the pseudo code. Let us now, let us now code it into our geeks for geeks platform. First thing we would do is to declare our answer error. Okay, so string, string answer which is equal to an empty string. Then we have stack, stack character st and let us have n equal to the size of s now we will run a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus we need to have character c which will be equal to which will be equal to s of i now we will put conditions on character c first of all we'll check if c is lowercase letter so c if c is greater than or equal to a and c is less than or equal to z okay we have an or condition let us let us have one more condition if c is greater than or equal to capital a and C is less than or equal to capital Z. Let me just indent it correctly. Okay. And we have one more uh, condition that if C is a digit. So if C is greater than or equal to 0 and C is less than or equal to 9. So these are three conditions and in these conditions we will push, we will push it to the answer array. So answer dot push back, answer dot push back, C, okay, sounds good. Oops, sorry, let me just, okay, so I have indented it and now let us have an else if condition. So let me have else if over here. And when C is equal to equal to, when it is equal to equal to the parenthesis, at that point of time, we need to push it to the stack. So we'll push it to the stack. Else if, else if C is a closing bracket. If C is a closing bracket, then we need to run a while loop. So while not st dot empty and st dot top should not be equal to an opening bracket, opening bracket. Okay, let me just balance the parenthesis over here. Okay, and pop it off from the step. Keep on popping it and adding to the answer array. So answer dot push underscore back st dot top and st dot pop so we have popped it from the stack we will again pop the opening bracket over here now the only condition left is of the operator so else we will have a while loop again over here until stack is not empty until stack is not empty and st dot top precedence of precedence precedence of st st dot top is greater than or equal to precedence of the character c while this is true while this is true let, let me just collapse this okay while this is true we will just add our top to our answer array so push underscore back st dot top and st dot pop 
Okay, so it's done and at last we will push our character to the stack. Okay, so we have done a while loop. Now we need to have another while loop outside our for loop while is t is not empty. While our stack is not empty. And okay, so we I think we need to have only one condition that is while our stack is not empty. We need to push it to the answer. We need to push all the operators to the answer. So answer push back st dot top and st dot pop. At last we would return our answer. But hey, we need to we need to have this. Okay. So for precedence, we will use an unordered map. Unordered map. It's just a kind of a, a JSON or a dictionary which stores key value pairs. So key will be a character and we will have its value as an integer. So precedence, precedence. And we can just initialize it in this particular manner. So let me have a closing bracket for it. And over here, first we will have this exponential sign. Let us say that it has a precedence of 5. Then we have our division sign that has a precedence of 4. Again, our multiplication has a precedence of 4. Let me, let me just uh, all shift down, all shift down one more for plus, for minus and for the opening bracket. Okay, so precedence of multiplication sign will be, again, will again be 4. For minus and for plus, it will be 3. So, a 3 over here and a 3 over here. And for an opening bracket, it will be equal to 0. So, this is the precedence. And now, let us check and finally submit the code. So, let me have a semicolon over here. Thing seems correct. While stack is not empty. Let me parentheses over here. Okay. So, everything seems correct. Let us compile the code. Okay, very good. It has been compiled. Let us now submit it. Great. So, all the test cases have been passed. This was about conversion of infix operation, expression to postfix expression. Now, let me give you a little homework over here. So, your task is to convert infix expression to prefix expression. We'll meet in the next lecture with a new topic, a new question on stack. Till then, keep learning and keep growing. Thank you, everyone.